Hey everybody, this is uh, Rocknez. Now, today I got me the Philips SHP 9500S. Now, I got this on eBay for about uh, $58 with free shipping and handling. The only thing that was wrong with it is that they'll ship it to you in a used box or a beat up box. But the headphones themselves are brand new and stuff. I actually opened this up to check it out. But it was uh, just like it is now. I didn't tear this. It came torn like this. But they were 58 bucks, man. So let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Let's see here. Ugh. Now the box is used, and this is used. And the headphones themselves are brand new. Let me see here. They come in a sealed bag. It was sealed when I got them. And they are brand new. They actually have a, a brand new smell to them. So I know these are new. And the only thing that came with them are the headphones themselves and this uh, cheap 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack. And that's it. Some silica gel. And that's all that came with it. No carrying bag or anything like that. Now, I bought these because I've seen a lot of recommendations on YouTube. And they said they sound... They sound pretty damn good for open back $58 headphones. Now, uh, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm kind of liking the way they feel. This cloth here and the cloth ear cups. But I'm gonna give these guys a couple days listens so I can go ahead and uh, get a more feel for it. I'll get back to you guys on my findings and I'll give you my thoughts and what I think about these. I'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, I'm back now. I gave these guys a good uh, three or four days listening. I predominantly was using this on my PS4 and on my PC playing video games and stuff like that. And you know, I gotta admit, for 58 bucks, free shipping and handling, this is probably one of the best uh, open back, dirt cheap uh, headphones I ever owned. The comfort level is pretty good. I mean, they, they fit a little bit loosely on your, your head. The clapping force can be a little bit tighter, but it's very light. It doesn't bother me at all. The The cushions are, are very nice. The headband's very nice. And I like this little feature here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a little circle here. It's not a window, but it actually looks pretty good. And you get this, uh, you get to adjust the band, you hear the clicks, and it goes all the way up to six. And that's a pretty good indicator right there. I mean, I wish it was black or something like that, but it's very nice. I like the fact that it's got a 3.5 millimeter jack right here. You can actually plug in like maybe some V-Mode boom mic on here and it's a it's a great headphone, man. I mean for 58 bucks, this thing performs uh beyond its price point and stuff. Now the sound quality, I mean the bass is okay, it's there. It actually upscales when you hook up like a external headphone amplifier or a portable headphone amplifier and you increase uh, the decibel level on there, you know push the bass boost you'll get a little bit more bass and stuff the highs on here are probably the only problem i got with it I'm, my ears are a little bit sensitive to the higher frequencies these are a little bit bright and stuff like that but not like like super overbearingly bright and stuff but the mid-range is good on here i mean it's not spectacular but it is good i mean for 58 bucks uh you'd be hard pressed to find something this comfortable with a pretty damn good build quality on this. I mean, it's predominantly plastic and you know, you got metal right here, but it's it's very good, man. 58 bucks. If you can find these for 58, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. I don't know if the guy's selling the uh selling them anymore, but these can be had for like on eBay for like maybe $65. That's worth it. If you get a chance to take a listen to one of these or pick it up for like 60 bucks or $65 and under, I'd pick them up and throw them in a collection. I'd have to give these a good thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys later.